change from their manly fascinations. The fact is, this act is a thing we're driven to. You can't have much fun if you stick to one. Men have all such limitations. Look round you, I found you, will find that this is true. Cool to see the difference between that and maybe something two decades later just with like the theater and the vaudeville and it's interesting to see the play on words and just how there's lots of different um, ways to sing it and speak it and kind of put it all together I think it's really fun it's very different from classical music how we're focused on line and tone but this is just very really really focusing on the words and the text. I think this music definitely speaks to us today. It's, um, well, first of all, it's easy to listen to. It's so fun. Like, I feel like this is the kind of stuff I like to just put on if I'm just hanging out at home doing chores. Like, it's great music. And also, the words are very relatable. The stories that the music tells is just like how we live our, you know, live today. I started music with piano when I was six, and then I got into singing like in middle school in choir, and in high school I started taking voice lessons and. I feel like music has always been a part of my life. Like I never really honestly like had aspirations of like being a singer and going to opera and doing all this, but I feel like I had teachers and mentors along the way that encouraged me and kind of said, I think you have talent and you should go into this. So I just 
kept with it, but I, I really do enjoy it, and I think it's a lot of fun, and I don't know what else I'd do, so. <laughs>